Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to be talking specifically on detection of radiations. Detection Detection of radiations. Okay, so of course do not forget to like this video as usual, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and do not forget to what, keep sharing our videos, alright? So I uh, already know the usefulness of doing all of this. Okay, and of course, uh, this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 School Jump app. I'm going to see a question from the app right now about what detection of radiation. It says, which among these has neither charge nor mass? Which of the following, this is a 2017 question number 12. Which of the following, which or which among these has neither charge, does not have charge, does not have mass? A, alpha particle. B, deuterium. C, gamma ray. D, neutron. Okay, so I'm going to come back to this question and many other questions from this app at the end of this class, not before, because we discover most of you do not stay to the end of the class. So please also download the O3 School Jam app. It will help you a lot in your exam. Ask all the past questions, so no need to buy past questions as a classroom with lecture notes structured according to the Jam syllabus. So no need to buy textbooks. No need to worry about textbooks. Also, there's a question search feature where you can search for questions according to topics. All right, and then there's a mock challenge. You compete with your mate every Saturday, win prizes, get you to jam pass and likely exam questions, and also. So of course, here result release every Saturday. So you know what they fear when they say jam don't release result waiting no good. You know what fear at all. All right. So please jump on the application immediately and what and start what practicing to your what your dream score. Okay. Activation is just for a little fee. Pay the sacrifice. Do not be stingy to yourself. Pay the sacrifice and what and activate. Then of course, let's talk about detection of radiation. So now the radiation that are emitted by radioactive substances. The radiations that are emitted, radiations that are what emitted by what radi uh, by radioactive substances cannot be perceived. You cannot perceive them, cannot be perceived, they cannot be seen, they cannot be heard. Take note. Okay, the radiation that are what emitted by radioactive substances cannot be perceived, cannot be seen, and cannot be heard. But of course, they can be detected. Okay, they can be detected by a number of methods, okay? Or they can be detected in some ways by a number of what? Of methods. These methods are what we are, what are, what are going to see right now, okay? One of those methods is the Gigamula counter, okay? So now, methods of what? Of detecting radiation. Number one, we have the Gigamula counter, the Gigamula counter, this is M, please. Okay, the Gigamula counter. This one is the most common. Okay, most common what method of what of detecting what radiation. All right. Then another one is so what the scintillation counter. Scintillation counter. Okay, and then another one uh, that's number three. Now we have is what the diffusion cloud counter. Diffusion cloud chamber rather. The vision cloud chamber. Then number four, we have the spintariscope. Spintariscopes. Okay. And then another method, of course, is the proportional counter. Proportional counter. Okay. All these methods, okay, they are what? They are the methods that are going to that, 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 that is used in detection of what? Of radiation. You cannot perceive radiation. You cannot see them. Right? That can you will hear them, all right? But you can detect them all that by using what? These methods. Okay. And the Gigamula counter is the most common method for what? For detecting what? Radioactive what? Emissions, all right? So please uh, take note of what? Of that. All right. So now I want to what, look at or compare between what? The type of what? Radioactive what? Uh, the type of radiation that are emitted by radioactive substances. I want to compare between the alpha particles, the beta particles, and the gamma wave particles. We're going to see their properties, okay, and compare their properties, their charges, their fluorescence, okay, their, their behavior when placed in an electrostatic field, okay, their charges, their masses, and so on and so forth, okay? So let us go to that part now. Uh, uh, differences or comparison between what? Uh, the uh, radiation that are emitted by radioactive world substances. Okay, so number one, we'll talk about property. This is property here. All right, and then of course, we have alpha radiation. Okay, we have beta radiation. And then we have gamma radiation. 
Okay, so these are the, the, all the properties. Okay, this is property, then this is what alpha radiation, this is what uh, beta radiation, and that is what gamma radiation. All right, so I'm going to be looking at what each of the properties and then we'll compare between what then. You must know this. If I have this table, put it, remove your head before your exam, eh? use cut last, cut your head. I beg, don't do it to the occult head before you see master master that says you got to head. What that means is that what vigorously what understand what the comparison, okay? And know their charges, their masses, all right? So please make sure that what you open your head and you put them inside, put them inside, okay? Where the cap, where the cap that has that, this head that when you are carrying to your exam, or make sure that what you know what this because a question is bound to come from here, all right? So please ensure you what you know the what their comparison. So properties. Property, alpha radiation, beta radiation, and gamma radiation. All right? So, number one, I'm going to talk about their nature. We're going to compare their nature. All right? This one has the nature of what? Of helium. Okay? It has the nature of a helium nucleus. Alpha radiation has the nature of a helium nucleus. Okay? Nucleus. Okay? It has the nature of a, of a, what? Of a helium what? nucleus. And, of course, has fast-moving electrons with fast moving electrons okay it has what the nature of what of a helium nucleus okay and has what fast moving what electron this one has fast moving streams of electron beta radiation has fast moving streams okay of electrons all right, so this one has fast moving streams of electrons okay why gamma radiation of course as what electromagnetic or radiation in the form of what visible light, okay, but have shorter wavelengths, okay. Have what electromagnetic or radiation, all right. This one has electromagnetic radiation, like or in the form of like that of like that of visible light but of shorter wavelengths. Sorry about my handwriting, so please understand. Okay, this one has electromagnetic radiation like that of visible light, okay? The nature, the nature of gamma radiation now, you see, it's like what that of electromagnetic radiation, like that of what? If of a visible light, but of shorter wavelengths, has shorter wavelength than that of a visible light. So that is what the nature, I'll compare the nature. Why we see alpha, alpha radiation, is as the nature of an helium nucleus of a helium nucleus and have fast moving electrons. Beta radiation has fast moving streams of electrons. This one has uh, is what electromagnetic world radiation, like that of visible light, but of shorter wavelength. So we also compare again another property, which is their mass. All right, um, alpha radiation has a mass of four units. All right, so please take note of that. Alpha radiation has a mass of what? Four units. This one has a mass of, that is beta has a mass of 1 over 1840 units, which is almost equal to zero. All right, which is almost what? Approximately, let me say, approximately what? Equals to what? Zero. All right, so uh, take note of that. This one has a mass of what? Four units. This one has a mass of 1 over 1840 units, which is approximately zero still. But this one has what mass of zero. This one does not have mass. Zero mass. Okay? So please take note of that. So no mass there. Then, of course, then we move to their charge. So let me roll this. Let's talk about their charge now. Charge. Okay? This one has what a charge of plus two. All right? Uh, alpha radiation has a charge of plus two. This one has a charge of plus two. Beta radiation has a charge of minus one. Has a charge of minus one. This one does not have charge. Zero again. So please take note. Oh, uh -huh. So uh, from that first question we're looking at, they say which of the following has neither mass or charge? Okay, is gamma radiation. Gamma radiation does not have mass. Does not have mass. Does not have a charge. Has no mass. Has no charge. Take note. This one has a mass of one over one eight four zero, which is approximately zero. Or what? Uh, and that's what a charge of minus one. This one has a mass of four units, and that's what a charge of what of plus two. So we we'll compare again their ionizing effects. Ionization effects. Okay, this one has the alpha radiation have the has the highest uh, highest ionization. Alpha radiation has what the highest ionization. Okay, highest. 
ionization. Okay, that's what for what for alpha radiation. They have the highest ionization. Okay, this one is what is medium. Okay, why this one is what is the weakest. All right, so this is what the ionization what effect. Uh, alpha radiation has what the highest ionization effect. Okay, why what uh, beta radiation has what a medium ionization effect. Why gamma is what is the weakest among the three what type of what radiation that we are comparing. Okay, yeah. So after ionization effect, we'll talk about that penetrating what effect also. Okay, that penetration what effect or penetration power. Penetration power. Okay, so we'll talk about that penetration of power. All right, and also of course the strongest one now is Baba gamma radiation. Gamma radiation has what has the strongest what uh, penetration power. But of course, half radiation has the weakest. This one is stopped by a thin sheet of paper. This one is in the past question. Okay, so which of the following radiation can be stopped by a thin sheet of paper? All right, so. This is weakest. It is stopped by a thin sheet of paper. Okay, please do not mind my, my small handwriting, please. Just bear. Okay, but you are listening, so you understand what you are writing here. Okay, this one has the weakest radiation. It is stopped by what? By a thin sheet of paper. All right. This one is stopped by what? By aluminum foil. Beta radiation is stopped by aluminum foil. Okay. It is medium. The medium. It is what? Stopped by aluminum foil. F O I L. Aluminum foil. Okay. Well, of course, this one is the strongest. Okay. It can only be stopped by lead blocks. It is the strongest. It is stopped. The radiation can only be stopped by what? Lead blocks. All right, so please take note of that. So we have compared what their, their, their nature, their mass, their charge, their ionization effect, or their ionizing what effect. Then we'll talk about what penetration power. Then, of course, next we'll compare what their, their behavior when placed in an electrostatic field. Let us, let us take this space so that we we'll, uh, we can see the board clearly. So I already know the properties. So we're looking at what now their behavior when they are placed in an electrostatic what feed. All right. Behavior. Let me now put it here. Behavior when placed in an electrostatic feed. Behavior when placed in an electrostatic feed. Okay. For alpha particles, they are deflected to the negative pole. Okay, their behavior when they are placed in an electrostatic feed. Okay, for alpha particles, they are deflected, deflected to the negative pole. Okay, why? Well, for beta particles, they are deflected to the positive pole. Deflected to the positive pole. Okay, why for what for gamma what radiation they are they, they show no deflection at all, no deflection. So please take note of that. Okay, so that that behavior when placed in an electrostatic feed for for alpha particles they are deflected to the negative pole, beta particles they are deflected to the positive pole. Why this one show no what no deflection? I'm going to see from past question now. All right, and then of course lastly we're now going to talk about what their fluorescence. Okay, talk about fluorescence. Fluorescence is the ability to emit light, okay? When the radiation are out, pass through or some, 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 some substances, some materials, okay? The ability to emit light, emit light, to, to show light, to fluorescence, okay? What fluorescence? Fluorescence, all right? So for, um, for, for alpha particles, okay, they show fluorescence. When, when well, the radiation was show fluorescence, when what, like zinc, when zinc sulfide, so zinc sulfide material, what is uh, when my, when uh, the radiation was the pass through zinc sulfide, it shows what fluorescence. Okay, I mean it emits light when what the radiation is passed through what zinc sulfide what material ZNS. For this one is what is anthracene. Okay, so when they are when the radiation are passed through what anthracene is what it emits light. Okay, why for this one is what is zinc 
sulfide also. All right, so please take note of what of that. Zinc sulfide and tracine zinc sulfide. All right, so this we have compared what uh, the three type of radiations. Okay, the alpha, the beta, and the what, and the gamma what radiation. Okay, we have seen their nature, we have seen their mass, we have seen their charge, their ionization, ionization effect, we have seen their penetration power, we have seen their behavior when placed in an electrostatic field, and then we have seen what their fluorescence was property. Okay, so from here now, questions come out what in jam. So let us go to the old school jam back immediately and what take some questions. Number one, 2017, number 12. 2017, number 12, they say, which among these has neither charge nor mass? You know, get charge, you know, get mass. You know, get charge, you know, get mass. Which one is there? That is what? Gamma radiation. No charge, no mass. No, sorry, no mass, no charge. <laughs> okay? So, please, that is gamma radiation. A, they say alpha particle. B, deuterium. C, gamma ray. D, neutron. That would be what? Gamma ray. Option C. Now, let's see 2014, 10. 2014-10, they say the radioactive radiation used in studying the arrangement of particles in giant organic molecules. The radioactive material, okay, this question is supposed to be in the last episode, all right? We're going to talk about X-rays. We say X-rays that are what? That are used for used in photography, all right? Or for viewing what the internal structure of what? Of organs, okay? Or of humans, or for view what? The internal structure of what? Of what? Of molecules, okay? So, for, for viewing the structure of what? Of giant organic molecules, what we need to use what? Is the X-rays. A, they say alpha particles, B, X-rays, C, beta particles, D, gamma rays. So, correct option there is what is what? Option B, X-rays. So, let's see 2023, number 36, 2023, 36. Which type of radiation can be stopped by a sheet of paper or clotting? Can be stopped by a sheet of paper or clotting. That is what alpha radiation. We're talking about here, it's a weakest. It has what the weakest penetration power and can be stopped by a thin sheet of paper or clotting. All right. So that is A. They say alpha particle, which is the correct answer. B, beta, C, gamma, D, X rays. So let's go to another question. 2023, number three. 2023, number three. Okay. It says, which type of radiation has the highest penetration power? Has the highest penetration power? And of course, this is the strongest. Gamma radiations have the highest, was or the strongest penetration power. Or that they can only be stopped by lead blocks. A, C, alpha radiation. B, beta. C, gamma radiation. D, X rays. Correct answer there is what is gamma radiations. So let's see. Uh, okay, so there are many other questions on this application so that, that we're not able to what to practice. All right. So what I do is what to search for what radioactivity or search for radiation and questions what came out under that. So you can use the question search feature to your advantage to study and many other features on the app. All right. Like this video, comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.